there is a prophet who got who prophesied something about a soccer game something like that it was very popular it was all over facebook you might have seen it so he said one particular team won uh, i didn't watch the game basically uh, i guess the other team uh, didn't win which is why it went viral and so therefore he came to answer people and in the process of answering people he then started to mock tb joshua's death yeah like i could not be kidding about that this is what no prophet without a failed prophecy no prophet are you God? Prophets prophesy every time it comes to pass. Then every church member would have succeeded. They killed TV Joshua. They Joshua. I will allow them to kill me. Like, 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 like. Uh, he takes that as an opportunity to say, no, you might have frustrated TV Joshua. And you are trying to frustrate me, which is how I would understand that particular point of uh, they've killed thingy. I don't think he means it like that. I think he means it to say, I think. He means it to say uh, they frustrated him when he got a prophecy wrong. So they are not, we, are, we are not going to frustrate him the same way. He, to, so his explanation is that a true prophet doesn't, uh, uh, is never without one particular false prophet. Now that is contrary to what the Bible says. The Bible, in, when you are reading Deuteronomy and so forth, it states that if a prophet says something that does not come to pass, it's because he has spoken not from God. It's because he's spoken out of his own desire. And you should disregard, therefore, what he has said. And so, therefore, we should d disregard you. That's what the, the, uh, that particular point actually uh, means. Which doesn't make sense to this particular point he is trying to make. Therefore, that there is no true prophet without a false prophet. Can you imagine? Can you I, I don't even want to imagine. <laughs> I'm not like him. I'm not a charlatan, so I don't have I don't have the capability. I don't have the brains to think of something so wicked or something so false. It's because it is on the premises of him justifying why he got the prophecy wrong that he mocks another man's death and then he goes to just say, "No, everybody is a false prophet." Basically, that's what literally he has just said. But that particular point about the jab to TV Joshua, I didn't think that was necessary because it doesn't even fit anywhere. But to the particular way that I am saying it, to say that when TV Joshua got a, false, a prophecy false, uh, they frustrated him, which is how I am hearing it. You guys can tell me if you are hearing it any different. It's not even necessary to bring up. But in the quest to justify himself, when he said something that is false, this no, you have false prophecies. <laughs> hey, probably because you are a false prophet. We don't know, but <laughs> with Badu, the, the same guy who was cursing a particular other uh, nationality said these people are they are loose, they are whatnot. A few years back, I think it was two years back, he got into trouble because he had said something about another tribe in his thing, and he said these people they are. They are wicked, they are, they are loose, their women are loose, whatnot, and he got in trouble with that. So his view, his judgment or, or view of truth is very skewed. And it's not, it's not absent even in this video. It's actually like we do daily Christian commentary videos. Weird people exist in weird times. <laughs> Other videos done today, down in the big comments. What a weird one.